Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to go over how to set up a universal interaction system inside of Unreal Engine. So we'll be able to set up an interaction system that can be used for anything. For example, we can use it to open a chest or to open a door or do whatever you would like once the player interacts with it. So the first thing you want to do is head over to your Blueprints folder and just right click and you'll look for Blueprints and select Blueprint Interface and you just want to call this Interact Interface. And whatever has this interface in our game, the player will be able to interact with it. So what you want to do is head inside here, so just double click, and under new functions, you just want to rename this and call this interact. You can also right click and click rename if you want to rename it. Okay, so once you've done that, just compile and save it, and we can close this. So for our, so for this tutorial, the object I'm going to make the player be able to interact with is going to be a chest which we can open. I'm going to use this chest model for this tutorial. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can download this exact model if you want to use it. If you do use the chess model, when you use it, you just want to drag in the chess model inside of Unreal Engine and make sure that this import animation checkbox is just checked so it can import the chess opening animation. Okay, so once you have done that or you have your interactable object, what you want to do is just right click, look for your blueprint class, select actor, and I'll just call this my chest, underscore BP, and we want to head inside here and I'll just set it up so it has my chest model. So I'll select skeletal mesh and select the chest. So this has a bottom and a top, so I'll just select the bottom. And I'm gonna scale mine up, so it's three. Just make sure this is checked if you want it to scale in all its axes. So I'm gonna add another component, skeletal mesh, and select the top half of the chest. So just top, and I'll also scale this so it's three. Okay. Then what we want to do is go to its class settings and under interfaces, we just want to click add and select interact interface and click compile. And we can see that it has set up this interact interface. Then we want to go to the event graph and just right click and look for our interact. So inside of our um, interface, we made this event called interact. So we're just going to look for it here. So just right click and look for interact. So it's here, event interact, and event interact, I'm just gonna drag here and call the event that I wanna do. So I'm gonna make it do once and play the opening chest animation. So I'll just drag in this and look for play animation and make this play the opening chest. And then I'll also drag in Skeletal Mesh 1 and look for Play Animation and make this play the chest open top. You want to go to the viewport and then finally go to Add Component and look for Box Collision and just make sure this Box Collision covers the whole of your chest. Then you want to click Compile. And then in order to make the player character be able to interact with it, you just want to head over to your player character blueprint. So mine's a third person character and scroll down and you want to get the key or button that your player uses to interact with in the game. So for this example, I'm going to make it when I press the one button, it's going to check if I can interact with any objects. So I'll right click and look for the one key. And when we press this one key, we want to drag up here and look for for each loop with break. And we're just going to see if we are overlapping any actors. So we just want to drag off this array and look for get overlapping actors. Then we're going to check to see if any of the overlapping actors we have have the implement interact interface. So we want to drop here and look for does implement interface. Well, the interface is going to be the interact interface. If it does, we want to drag up here and look for branch. And if it does, then we're gonna we wanna drag up here and we wanna call the interact event message. And this will just run the interact event inside of whatever we're interacting with. And then we just wanna plug this back into break. And I'll just double click and lower this so it's a bit tidier. And now like I compile, we zoom out and we head back to our chest. and head to the viewport 
one more thing we just want to make sure that this box collision um it's overlapped or dynamic or will overlap all so that our player can overlap with it and now i just drag this in go play and i go up to this chest and i press one it'll play the interact animation one more thing that i like to do with objects that the player can interact with in my game is if we just go to add component and look for text renderer I normally just add a text so I'm just gonna drag this up a bit and we can see it there and I normally have something like press one to interact and then if we just go to the details I normally make the visibility of this um, visible so it's hidden or we can do hidden in the game so if we just look for hidden in game and just check this and then if we just select this box and scroll down and select on component can overlap and we can select the box again here and add on component and overlap if our player character so that is the third person character in this game so i'm going to look for cost to third person character if our third person character overlaps this box then we get our text renderer and we set hidden in game to be false so we can see it and if our third person character leaves this box, then we can hide this. So I'll copy this with Ctrl C, paste with Ctrl V, and plug this into here, and this into here, and then check so it's hidden again. And if I click Compile and Play, if I go up to this, we can see it says Press One to interact. I press One, I can interact with it. If I leave, then that text disappears. And that's how to make an interaction system inside of Unreal Engine. So we can use this system for many things such as opening doors, picking up items, and opening chests. So ages ago, I made a video on how to open a door with Unreal Engine using a line trace system, although I think this system is much better. Although if you want to check out that video, I'll leave a card to it now. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.